There is growing outrage tonight after an unarmed African-American teenager was shot and killed by police in the St. Louis suburb of Ferguson, Missouri. But there are conflicting reports about what led up to the shooting. Protesters of different ages and races demanding answers in the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown at the hands of a policeman. Watching the quick trip burn on television the day after Michael Brown died, it was like watching a documentary of the civil rights movement from 50 years ago. In a crisis like this, some people move away, some people freeze, they don't know what to do, and other people move towards. And what I learned from this, if you're gonna to move towards a crisis, it's very important to know who you are, what needs to be done, and where you might be most helpful. Our corporate citizens in the, in the community, including RBC, including Centene, including Wells Fargo, including Anheuser-Busch, including, right, so all of these um, corporate actors came to the table to say, how can we create private sector opportunities? And that's one of the reasons why I came to this area, uh, to really help with this, this location. Nothing but continued support uh, from all members of the community, whether it be civic leaders, the uh, local government, um, and then just the, just the normal people that come in every day to get their coffee before going to work. A lot of businesses have stepped up to the plate to say, hey, we want to be a part of this solution. You know, Centene, Starbucks, and a lot of other small businesses, and that's the attitude that we need. Not the people that are just want to jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, this is a bad community, and head the other way, but people who are, who are going to run into the fire. Our CEO, he was driving in the car, and they said, he, he said, I want to do something. And he immediately contacted some of the board members, um, decided that you know, he was going to put a site here. And literally within an hour or so, the board actually gave the approval to say, absolutely, let's go and open something in Ferguson. I see this as a vital cornerstone of corporate responsibility. We all share that at Centene. The business sector must be a role model in creating stronger and healthier communities across the nation. There were high schools that had lost their accreditation. And we reached out to Normandy uh, and decided to partner with them to bring in some juniors and seniors to come work at Centene. I see my children in each one of those interns. It kind of gives us that growth we might not have actually gotten for most of us that lived in poor neighborhoods. Getting a dream job like this, it's like we know we can actually go somewhere in our lives. We have higher expectations of what we can do. The only good that comes from tragedy is that it can be a lesson for the living. Mike McMillan, uh, who is the director here in St. Louis, you know, when he called me about the Empowerment Center and said that it was going to be on the site of the Quick Trip, I mean, I did have this, I was a classics major, so you know, you'll have to bear with me. So I immediately thought of the phoenix rising from the ashes, and of course we'd invest in that. Why wouldn't we? Where there was hopelessness, now maybe there'll be some hope. Watching this particular site, come and go from the burned down quick trip with this vacant abandoned ground zero to now see it as this multi-million dollar facility that will house four different organizations to do programming to assist thousands of people a year is something I'm very proud of. For the Urban League to come in and take over that building and beautify that area, it means a lot. I think it shows uh, the, the commitment that Urban League has to, uh, to seeing the Ferguson community being, being built up. Individually, none of us can fix these problems by ourselves, but collectively, we have much more of a chance to make a significant impact. And it can't just be a short-term impact. It has to be for the long-term. And that's where an organization like the Urban League that's getting ready to celebrate its centennial can really play a role and be that bridge to make that progress and keep it going into the future. James Baldwin uh, said that before you can understand what's going on around you, you have to know what was happening behind you. And in order to understand the present, you have to know the past. That's what it's about. It's about knowing what happened so we can understand better what is going on now. And hopefully we can use that information 
to move forward toward a more just society. It's hard to establish relationships that you didn't have before in a crisis. So one of the assets we have here is we do have people of goodwill. We do have leaders of our institutions. And, and there was a trust there that then we were able to mobilize relatively quickly. What happened in Ferguson could happen in any city in the United States, and I think that's true. But the fact is that all of us working together, that shouldn't happen anywhere. What small city can you say that you work in, live in, or serve on a council where you can say that if you make a positive change, the entire world will pay attention? So instead of looking at it as it's not fair, let's look at it as we have an opportunity to show what change can look like and set the example which will ripple across the country. And I guarantee it'll show positively and, and make a positive footprint across the country.